yeah, that was a uh, conscious design decision. As as I often say, um, our main character is the mirror of this time period, and you were saying that Ezio is more human and very happy because that's you know this time period is about humanism, and like the the man becoming um, very important at the center uh, of all things. So you've got a character who is an Italian, uh, is is a nobleman, is cultured, he's got a lot of panache. But still, when he's going for the kill, he's, he's an assassin, and he's, he still has this mysterious side, uh, this like prodigy kind of uh, type of hero. But after that, he's a human, so he's um, you know he's, he's, he's doing mistakes. He's, he's 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 got some casual talks. He's a womanizer as well. So we wanted to have this more human character that corresp corresponds to this time period. Yeah, I think it's the the. The main thing about Assassin's uh, Creed, we are building a franchise not around um, Altair or Ezio, but around Desmond. And even if we were not talking a lot about Desmond in the first one, we are talking much more about him in this one, and certainly it will go on and on. After all, it's the sort of story of the Assassin in the present and, and Desmond that is very interesting. So we love Altair. Uh, it was a hard decision to get rid of Altair for this one. We love Desmond. Uh, we love uh, Ezio, sorry. But the story of Desmond is, is the one that we are telling through this franchise. Yeah, the Animus is part of the franchise that, uh, you know, going into and relieving memories of ancestors is part of the franchise. Now, you can even imagine a, a game just about Desmond. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, we don't have to get rid of him. We, we might actually see Ezio further in, in, you know, in other games, but and, and the way that we see it, um, we are just creating a really, really great character, um, that, and we get to, to play with him so much. I mean, this game, it's going to be hours on end. You, 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 you won't see the end of it. Like it's, it's clearly it's left and right. Whenever, wherever you look at things, there are side missions to do. There are things to look at, and and it's all part of Ezio's story. And, and I think it's. It's really just one great package for this holiday season. We, we want to have a character who evolves. Uh, who evolves not only uh, in terms of skills, but certainly in terms of personality. Even the, 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 the acting evolves quite a lot uh, uh, during the game. Uh, and it's also because those 30 years in Resource Italy were the ones that, uh, that were really a defining moment in history. It's, it's between uh, 1470 and, and uh, uh, 1500. Uh, that's that's those 30 years are already the most interesting in the in the, in the Italian history. What what may appear to be slower is just that it's it's still the same portion of the game, but the game is so much better and so much bigger now that you can actually. You, I'm, I'm sure it feels that way. I mean, you, you've played here this game for about now, what, three hours. You've probably scratched maybe 10% of it, really. And you haven't done anything that wasn't like the, the stuff that we announced. That we, you haven't played the flying machine, you haven't played the, the, the chariot race, you haven't had any of the LGS, the linear gameplay sequences that we shown at, at um, TGS. So, so no, you haven't actually seen the, the, the tip of the iceberg is what you've seen so far. I think the main way to do that is to create a, a person that you get attached to and, 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 and attached with. Um, his entire family story is a lot more vibrant than Altair's was. Uh, one of the criticisms that we got from the first game was that you couldn't actually connect with Altair on, on the same emotional level as you can with Ezio. And Ezio clearly is that kind of guy uh, that you want to be friends with. You know, he is the kind of guy that you want to go out and buy a beer to. Um, and, and, and this is exactly what it is. We want you to feel like the revenge that is coming out is going out for is really just justice. It really is just justice and it should be done. And so uh, the story actually can't wait. It, the story, the way they de that it's delivered, you are not going to be able to stop playing the game. Every single mission is going to carry on and, and drive you even further and you're going to see the entire conspiracy unfold in front of you and you sometimes not being able to do it, it's going to drive you mad and you're going to be playing until the late hours of the night.
Somewhere on a rooftop There's a hero in the hood Fear him not lest you who have sinned For his cause is good